How are you doing folks? Roger here. Uh, one of the things I want to talk about today is the things I take on my hikes. I, I've had a few videos out going out on hikes and stuff and I usually have a few things with me that I generally take every time. I'm not in a wilderness situation where I'm, I'm way out in the bush. I don't need a lot of survival gear. You know, some of the basics, I take a lighter, simple lighter. You always need something. You know, a lot of guys carry a, a big knife with a fire steel, but, you know, I'm not really doing a lot of bushcraft out here. I'm just hiking. I always have a knife, a pocket knife. I pretty much have a pocket knife with me all the time. This is just a simple knife. Quick flick. Okay, Elk Ridge. I have so many of them now. I just, I've got a collection of them. I always have a pocket knife. This time I took uh, a larger knife with me. I also brought my uh, emergency blanket, typical of my hikes. I put one of those in my pocket. My cell phone in a bag, because if you end up in the water, in the river, in the creek, pouring rain, who knows, whatever, it's going to get soaked. I'm going to keep that safe. And this is what I want to talk about. This is an uh, old knife, a really old knife. I actually got this knife when I was eight, nine, ten years old, Cub Scout age, something like that. And I bought it for a dollar, one dollar, at a flea market. And it's actually been a really good knife. It's not ideal bushcraft. As you can see, it's more of a weapon than anything, something out of Lord of the Rings. It's made in Germany. And it's if I left it out, it would rust. It's not stainless steel. It's uh, very thick, wide back. It's getting close, close to a quarter inch, a little more than three sixteenths. Very strong. It's got a number on it, eight three one. I really don't know much about this knife. Just it's made in Germany. It has some more information on it that I really don't know what it's from. Maybe someone else has seen a knife like this. Maybe they know. You can let me know. I've had it for years and years and years. I actually lost it one time and somebody found it and I heard that somebody had found a knife and I went running up to him. Did you find a knife? And sure enough it was my knife. But I've had it since I was about 10 years old or so. I have other knives. It's got a little rabbit fur on there. Somebody put that on this sheath. I don't know why. Something interesting. I've had this knife forever. I have other knives. I've, I got, you know, I bought the Bear Grylls knife, or it was a gift. And uh, I actually, it, it was okay. But uh, I have a couple other large knives, some smaller knives. Typically, you need a, a knife in the woods, in the bush, a big knife, a small knife. You can split wood with this. You can chop with it. It holds an edge really good. And I've had it for many years. So I just want to talk about that. I have a few axes and hatchets and I usually I find them at a flea market or I find them somewhere and I, you know they're all rusty or whatever. No, I'll fix it up. I keep forgetting to look at the lens. But anyways, something uh, something interesting to talk about. I wanted to show some people something like that. And maybe somebody knows a little bit more about it. This is all leather. It's actually leather rings. Each one is individual. Just put on the on there and it's got a brass hilt and a brass piece at the end there. And that, I guess, is aluminum. I'm assuming. But I've had it for a long time. Good knife, good strong knife. So that's all I want to talk about while I'm sitting out here in the bush doing my hikes. Once again, I keep forgetting to look at the lens. I'm looking at everything else. Okay, that's it for me. I am uh, heading home, heading to get some dinner. See you next time.